security issue in Nigeria has become something of grave concern to all citizens. I keep wondering how the country arrived at such a villainous situation where no one is safe and to make matters worse rather than make it less intense, the problem keeps escalating every now and then. But first, let me welcome you to this episode of So This Happened. This is where we highlight stories that made a buzz recently. My name is Margaret Usazua Efoge. You are welcome to the show. There was apprehension among residents of Kuje in the Federal Capital Territory following the repeated sounds of gunshots by terrorists being heard in the area on Tuesday night. During the attack, it was said that the terrorists released 600 inmates, including 15 deadly Boko Haram commanders who masterminded the March 28 Kaduna Abuja train attack in which eight persons were killed and over 68 passengers kidnapped. Meanwhile, President Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, who visited the Kujay Sin, said he was disappointed with the intelligence system, stating that how can terrorists organize, have weapons, attack a security installation, and get away with it? Buhari's visit to Kujay comes hours after his convoy of vehicles conveying the advanced team of security guards, protocol, and media officers ahead of his trip to Dara for Salah was attacked which further describes the total collapse of Nigerian security system. <laughs> that being said, the Islamic State in West African province has taken responsibility for the attack on Kuje prison. The terrorists claimed responsibility in a video released on Wednesday night. <laughs> this is so sad and disturbing. I mean, the role of every government is to ensure the security of lives and properties of the citizens in order to guarantee peace and tranquility. But for how long? How long exactly do we have to wait for this to manifest? Change is inevitable simply means compromise and being clear about what you would be saying goodbye to may clarify whether you are really prepared to give it all up. Well, in the case of UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, it seems to be the last bus stop for him. The United Kingdom Prime Minister has finally resigned from his position. Now, following his resignation, British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss called for calmness and unity, stating that the PM made the right decision. Although there are several reasons why he must have likely resigned, here are some of them. 1. Boris Johnson is being accused of lacking focus, integrity, competence and vision. 2. Earlier in April, Johnson was fined for breaking lockdown rules after it was revealed that he attended a gathering on his birthday in June 2020. 3. Two key members of Johnson's cabinet resigned from their post, with both saying they could no longer tolerate the culture of scandal that has stalked the then PM for months. Meanwhile, Boris, in his resignation speech while speaking on his achievements, said he's immensely proud of the achievements of this government. Well, the truth is, the nobody is indispensable statement might seem like a cliche, but it's a fact and Boris knew it, so he resigned. That being said, I wish him all the best. To say the deplorable and frustrating state of the country has begun to manifest in its people is likely the only thing I can say to justify this woman's attitude. How can one go naked and douse herself with petrol? This incident happened in a filling station around Falomo area, Lagos State. According to the video, people were seen running helter-skelter trying to salvage the situation as the woman roamed around naked with the petrol nozzle, dousing herself with petrol. Fortunately, some officers were seen carrying her out of the scene quickly because anything she just caused fire outbreak. I'm just wondering where all the petrol attendants were when she just went ahead and picked the fuel nozzle. This just goes to say that people are going through so much. This country's mess has finally begun to mess with some people's mental state. I just really pray that she gets the help that she needs. We have come to the end of this episode on So This Happened. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe on all of our social media platforms. My name is Margaret Usazua Efoge. Many thanks for listening.